one of the uh, one of the challenges that we always hear from our customers in the area of um, upgrades or application rollout is, you know, how do you move from that hyper care period or the rapid response period to sustainability? You know, sometimes the project teams just get stuck in the support area and the, the projects just never get to the operational support that they were intended to, to have. And that's what NOAA tries to address. So I'm going to use the application support dashboard to show how uh, proactive monitoring tools could be leveraged to shorten that hyper care period and allow your organization to go to sustainability mode much faster. Uh, one of the things you'll notice with the NOAA solution is that we're monitoring all of your SAP systems. It's a continuous monitoring of all instances across all global users. And that's part of what makes the NOAA data unique in that this is not just some scripted agents that are deployed in various locations, but we're actually monitoring the rollout as it is happening. So in this dashboard, for example, we're monitoring two periods. We're monitoring the first two weeks of April versus the last two weeks of April. And let's assume that April 15th was a big change, right, a big rollout. You can see for every transaction, for every uh, T code or Z code, we're monitoring the Z code, as Mike mentioned, automatically. You can see the response time and the operation and the number of operations executions as long as, as well as the variations from the baseline. So you can quickly identify in real time your support team now has tools that can tell them proactively where the application upgrade is going wrong. So if we look at some of these transactions, for example, ZD28, I see a 65% drop in a response time. What's more interesting is I see actually a close to 40% drop in the utilization of that transaction. And that usually is the case. As the application performance is degrading, then the users are not using that application. They may be finding workarounds. They may be doing something else. So this has huge ramifications in terms of the impact to your overall business process. Now, what's also unique about NOAA is that not only can we tell you your response time metrics, and again, Keep in mind that these response metrics are from the end user perspective. This is truly what the user is feeling. But we can also tell you the response time based on an individual screen within a transaction. And this is extremely important, especially during that rapid support period. You really need to pinpoint the problem um, as much as you can. So we can tell you which specific screens within a transaction are actually experiencing problems so your application development team could quickly focus on those areas. Not only that, but we could actually pinpoint the specific operation. So if there is a specific button or link that is causing the performance degradation, you have that information um, at your fingertips. Further, if you leverage user attributes, and uh, Mike uh, touched upon some of these, like site or department or location, all of those aggregation points allow you to quickly identify where the rollout is going negatively so you can really focus your resources on that area. So this is one example of how um, customers use our uh, uh, monitoring to really help them drive uh, quick, um, uh, quick migration from you know, a rollout to, to sustainability. I want to show you another example, and I'm going to use one of our analysis tools. Um, and let's take a look at adoption, right? So a lot of times you're rolling out new processes, new business uh, transactions, or maybe even global process maps, and you have no visibility as to whether the users are really adopting that process. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to use the activity analysis. And let's take a look at a specific transaction. So let's say I rolled out a new custom Z code, um, and I'm just going to pick, uh, let's say, you know, ZDB. And I think this is a transaction that is used in demand planning area. And uh, I roll it out to all of my locations, and I want to see how the users are really adopting it. So I could quickly identify I have 20 users that are using this transaction. I could quickly see some of the baseline metrics in terms of the active time. And one thing to keep in mind is that NOAA is not just providing you the total utilization time within a transaction, but we can actually pinpoint the active time. How much time is it actually taking the users to execute a transaction, and how much time are they idling? We can 
also break down this adoption based on those user attributes. So if I want to see, for example, how is this rollout and adoption of this new process panning across various locations, I could quickly identify that. So I see here San Antonio is obviously not utilizing this transaction, even though they should be. And we take the same approach as Mike mentioned when it comes to user errors. So if I want to see, if I rolled out a new process and I want to see very quickly how are the users executing the transaction, not just how much time they're spending in it, but are they doing it in an efficient manner, are they doing it in accordance with the job aid, or are they having a lot of problems, I can quickly identify that as well. So we're capturing all of the user errors. You can see here, you know, 15 users having 146 instances of a material issue problem or you know, six users are having 32 instances of inbound user input. All of this data is real time. All of this data allows your uh, support teams and rapid response teams to really get ahead of the, of the upgrade and make sure that the upgrade is successful and that it is handed over to the um, operations and sustainability organization. So I know it's a lot of information, uh, but this was just intended to be a very brief demo to show you how our solution is used in the upgrade scenario. And I think I'm going to pass back to Mike to continue the presentation.